Many of my subscribers ask me to create the video about creating training dataset for deep learning neural network, especially for the segmentation, image segmentation purpose. So in this video, I am going to prepare the training dataset using ArcGIS Pro. Yes, you heard it right. I am going to use the ArcGIS Pro. But many of you might be unhappy with this method since I use the commercial product. But if you don't have ArcGIS Pro license, then there is also another solution. The open source solution is Geotile, which is the Python library, open source Python library for creating the image patches or tiles. So for this video, I'm going to show you how to create training data set using ArcGIS. But maybe in the next video, I'm going to talk about how to create data set, training data set for deep learning neural network using open source solution. So let's get started. All right, guys, welcome back to the another video. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create training data set for deep learning neural network. So to do so, I have prepared two files, which is max.final file for uh, the uh, zero and one value. So this green color represent the water body, whereas this uh, purple color represent the uh, zero value, non water body. So if you click on the green, you will see one. And then if you click on the purple part, you will see the zero. That means this is the non-water body. All right. So now let me check the satellite imagery. So I have downloaded this imagery from Google Earth Engine. So it's the same exact same location. Um, so it has only four bands, uh, RGB and then the NIR band. So another file is the optional file. So there you can see vector data representation of the water body. So it's exactly aligned with the satellite data. All right. So we have three data set. Either we'll use the max tip file or we'll use the vector data. So to create the training data set, I mean tiles for the deep learning model, you have to go to geo processing tool and then just search for deep learning. You'll see lots of uh, tools uh, to deal with deep learning things. Uh, ArcGIS actually has lots of like training data and then uh, predicting the your output. Uh, this all functionality, it already has the classification of object, segmentation things, everything. But right now, I am very interested in only the creating my tiles. To create the tiles, I can go to the export training data for deep learning. So simply click it. So here, uh, I, I let me first toggle off this vector data and put the raster one to show it more clearly. So here you can see there are lots of parameters actually and then the output format by default output format is pascal po format which is for object detection so for the input data set you should select your uh, original imagery from sentinel or uh, landsat or any other source and for this additional input raster it's only i think useful for the classified tile export tile and cycle gan module but i think it's not the mandatory one so i can simply left it as it is just the blank one and for the output data let me go to my output directory so i'll save inside desktop try and then inside data folder maybe dl so okay so make sure your folder is empty and then uh, this is just for the output folder output tiles so here uh, you have to select either the uh, vector data or raster source uh, representing your class 
so for this purpose uh, i think for initially i want to do it from raster data which is max final dot tiff this exact imagery it contains zero and one value so zero means non-water and then one means the water bodies and for the input max polygon i think i don't need this um, option because uh, i already provide my uh, max final dot t file above so i'll just leave a as it is and for the image format uh, it's the tiff format so tiff is the i think somehow standard format for the uh, raster data set otherwise you can select png or jpg as well but i recommend to select tiff yeah so for the tile size tile size x and y values so it, by default it's 256 by 256 so that means it will create the tile size of 256 by 256 uh, just it will divide our image into the small chunks so let me show you the uh, this property of this my original raster data so there are uh, this much row and this much column with cell size of 8.9 and i think uh, some yeah so this is my um, original data and by using this original data i am simply going to create these tiles 256 by 256 and stride x and y means uh, overlapping in the horizontal direction and then the vertical direction so by default it's 50 percent overlap so i'll just leave as it is and for the rotation angle actually it's zero so we we don't want to rotate our image into another angle so leave it as zero and for the reference system actually there are two reference system if you select the map space that means our coordinate system of the map will be assigned uh, into the tile uh, otherwise uh, in the ender format which is pixel space uh, that means it will simply just a imagery not the original uh, coordinate system the our tile does not contain any coordinate system yeah so for the metadata format uh, by default is pascal view but i am uh, interested in the classified tile since uh, we already have the classified raster which is value uh, which value is 0 and 1 so now i think uh, i can run my model so simply click on run all right now it complete the process so if you if i show you the imagery and labels so by default it will create two folders for storing them and then map.txt file for uh, representing the location of that tiles so by default uh, name are exactly matching first tile uh, is started from zero and then level is also zero and second is one one two two three three and so on yeah inside the image you will see the tiff file by default our uh, windows image viewer cannot open this file since it has four bands as i already discussed so i'm going to open it in the uh, arcgis so you can see it's the small chunk of our tile so let me remove this and then if i show you so this is a small chunk of our actual imagery and yeah similarly for the labels actually uh labels value is okay it's the one band image that's one band image that's why it's showing so here you can see this white part represent the value one and then this black part represent the value zero which is non-water and white part is the water body and uh yeah so let me i think close this but before that uh, i want to show you one more thing so i found there is one bug or issue with the arcgis pro version so in this version actually uh, the uh, edge image are not actually fitting uh, let me show you what i mean
okay let me open the file so it's 50.tif i think so okay let me drag it back okay so if you see this tile so now it has let me toggle off all the layers first so now it has three values you can see this black part is represented by zero but uh, this side portion is represented by number three that means it's i think it's the bug so outside of the image uh, it, it should uh, add the zero value uh, since it's the non-water body uh, uh, so but uh, with using this max file i mean the uh, raster file it's containing value up to three so let me remove this to solve this issue actually uh, there is one uh, nice standard way so let me delete this data set first and then recreate the image recreate the tiles okay maybe i can go inside the folder and then select all and delete okay yeah now it start deleting all right uh, to solve this issue actually instead of this raster map uh, in the classified raster or table uh, we can provide the actual vector data and in the vector data we have we can see our water body is perfectly overlapping with the uh, actual water so in the class value field we have two options i selected water let me show you how why i select water so in the water field we have all the one value uh, actually it's the value for raster so in the output imagery we want to put water as one and non-water as zero by default it will um, put the zero value for all the other surface so water is one that's why i added this class and then uh, it's the classified tile so simply i'll run this and now here it is so the image and label are already generated now this time it has uh, it solved this issue so uh, in the age image also we have now um, value are up to 0 and 1 either 0 or 1 i think this 50 tiff is somehow in middle maybe i load another another label from the age let me see Mm, I okay so here uh, you can see it's the age tile but it has only value from 0 to 1 that means it solved the issue uh, that's the thing what we exactly need so yeah if you check the water body also it's perfectly fitting so this white part is the pixel value of 1 and then the black part is the pixel value of zero okay so that's how you will create the classified tile and here in the format actually if you want to create the pascal view format which is very useful for the object detection so simply select it as a pascal view and then change your output folder and then now run it so what it will do is it will generate the uh, same image styles and also it will generate the label is uh, xml files so let me show you what i mean so inside the image we can see the exact same images same tiles uh, and for the labels actually sorry i'm in the dl folder i should go to dl2 okay in the image you can see the exact images 
and for the labels actually it has dot xml file so let me open and show you what it uh, look like so maybe open in notepad and here so in the xml file you will see the annotation so the file name and the source and in the size uh, it's 256 by 256 and depth is 4 that means 4 band image and uh, i think it has four objects so it's simply showing you the bounding box of each um, each water body so whenever it find the pixel value of one simply it will uh, create the bounding box and then show you the bounding box x min y min x max y max and for the image actually uh, it has its same same image so it's the zero image that means the corner one and uh, this four bounding box means this image might have four different uh, four different water bodies water bodies in different four different positions points all right so yeah in this way you can simply create the pascal view format and uh, there are other options as well uh, simply if you select the export tiles then uh, you no need to select the class and then class field value so it will simply create the tiles only tile for for the images so if you run this run this process so you will get the tile of uh, 256 by 256 imagery from this uh, sentinel to pohara.t file in this way we can simply create the tiles of our imagery uh, and prepare the uh, training sample for the deep learning model if you want to do these things in open source solution don't worry about it we have geo tile package using this package we can simply generate the tiles what we did here we can exactly do the same thing so i'll show you how to do that things in the next video but if you don't have access pro license don't worry about that i'll see you in the next thank you This video is the part of my upcoming new course named as Deep Learning Application for Earth Observation. So if you want to enroll in this course, let me know in the comment section. So I'll send you the discounted link whenever it gets ready. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you like this video, hit the like button. Keep subscribing my channel. And thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next.